Hi everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Um, I'm here to um, share a tutorial slash process um, project with you. Um, I'm using the Winds of Autumn kit uh, from Trailer Made Journals, and we're going to be making, as as you see in the title, a flippy flappy envelope stuffed paper bag junk journal. <laughs> um, some of it's pre-planned and some of it, uh, I, you know, I'm an intuitive artist, so I'm going to kind of wing it, play it by ear, haven't made all the decisions. The only thing I have done is selected the bases, which I will go over with you in, in a moment. Um, and so we're going to be doing bits and pieces as we go along through the project. And I thought you guys might want to follow along. You don't have to use the Winds of Autumn kit if you have a kit that you already like. Or, you know, you, you, you have a completely different um, aesthetic. You know, maybe Christmas or, uh, I don't know, somebody's birthday or, or whatnot. So, you know, just use what you want to use. I will tell you the page numbers that I've chosen. Um, they're not in the order I've chosen them, but I, <laughs> I will tell you the page numbers. So if you want to get this kit and follow along, um, again, it's Taylor Made Journals on Etsy. Um, and her name is Lorna, and she's popped into my lives here and there, so you may already know her, or you may know her from previous. Um, so the page numbers I chose is, um, and again, they're not in the order, but uh, 1, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, 14, 19, 20, 21, 25, 26, 27, 31, 36, and 34. Um, her kits are always um, very, uh, they're, they're large and you get, and you pretty much get everything you need and you could probably make two or three journals out of it um, depending on what projects you have. Um, so, this kit is 36 pages. I'm not sure if I said that already, but it's 36 pages. So, of those, those are the numbers that I've chosen to work with. Um, I'm not going your typical brown, red, orange for this project. Um, there's going to be some intermixed, but she has, uh, the, this kit um, has some blues in it, um, as you can see here. And so I want to play off that. Um, so we're going to have um, rustic neutral colors with um, blue in it. Um, and that's the way I've chosen to go. So, um, but again, you do you. Um, it doesn't matter what you have. Um, this is a project that you can do with any kit. Um, I just chose this kit. Um, and I'm just getting started. Um, so let's talk about the bases. Um, the main base is a uh, file folder that I got in, in an order um, that's been tea dyed or coffee dyed. Um, as you can see, it's got, it looks like a lacy type print on there. Um, really beautiful. Um, it's got some tea dyeing in there. I love the, like, waterfally stuff there. <laughs> um, and what I've done is, is I folded it um, and I scored it at um, six, no, 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 five and three quarters and six and a quarter. So you get a half inch spine, okay, so five and three quarters and six and a quarter, and then I put a, a lightweight piece of chipboard in there, glued it all down both sides, um, and then I sewed along it. Um, yeah, uh, I did cut the bottom of this one, um, so it's like an extra, it's not going to be extra, it's, it's for a particular purpose. We're going to put um, in this section um, the envelope, uh, flippy flappy envelope part, it's not going to go on the cover, going to go in here um, and then this is the, this is where we're going to put the main journal um, I, I've tea dyed some uh, of my own papers um, that we're going to put in there and um, because I don't want to cover all this up I just I love this 
and I just, I, you know, I don't want to cover it up. So we're going to play off what's already here. Um, and then we're going to have a pocket here. Um, I, actually, I should sew that before we go any further, which I will do off camera. Um, but, um, and then on the front, we're going to have a um, stuff loaded pocket, but not in the traditional sense. Um, it's going to be, uh, as you can see, it's not going to be this way. Um, uh, it's going to be horizontal, okay? And so this is going to be part of the closure. Um, and it's just a, a glycine bag, and I have a tag that I'm putting in there. And that's going to flip open. And then we're going to decorate this bag and pocket, this bag and pocket, and this bag and pocket on all sides and it's going to get attached to the front. And then this is going to be part of the closure. Then when you open it up, you'll have a pocket there. Then you'll have a journal, uh, the journal pages themselves. And then over here, you'll have this part. Okay? And so, you know, it's already kind of a, a, a little, it, it's, feels very good already. I'm not going to do a whole lot of um, I, I'm not going to overdo it on the um, embellishments. Um, I, I It's going to be I, ho I hope to uh, achieve a good mix of stuff that I like um, as we go along in the project. Um, and so I hope you'll come along with me, you, you'll play, you know, create with me, play with, you know, play with papers with me. Um, I hope, I, I think this is going to be very fun. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, oh, and then the envelopes I chose, let's look at that. Okay, so these, the, the journal pages are just, you know, the 8.5 by 11 standard U.S., but you can, um, a custom, you can customize that to fit A4 if you wanted, um, or cut the A4 down, you know, depending on your file folder. Um, <clears throat> and so, the, the, I, this is a mix of both junk mail and not junk mail. So, um, these... This is the first envelope, which has not been attached yet, and I'll, I'll tell you why. And same with the second, then this one flips over. And then the third is also um, not attached, but it's going to flip over that way. Um, and I'm not sure if, you know, sideways or up and down how I'm putting everything yet. I just have the envelope selected. Um, and then, so we have a junk mail. This is, these three are watercolor paper, and so that's why they're not... Uh, glued because we're going to paint on those uh, and do some mixed media stuff on those. So lots of fun to be had there. Um, and, and I want to incorporate uh, some of my own art into the piece. And then you have this. This is a pre-made envelope. It's going to go uh, figure. We'll go, we'll have this about maybe five and a half. I think five and a half will fit. Yeah, five and a half. Um, and then this is just a regular greeting card envelope. Okay, so it's going to look something like that. And so I'm going to go ahead and paper clip those actually. Because um, I'm not sure which part I'm going to start with yet. Um, so that's going to go in there. Then we have the journal. Um, and then we have the paper bag. I think we'll start, um, I think I want to start with the front. Um, yeah. I think I want to start with the front, do some collaging, um, and uh, get this prepared. I typically like to start with my covers um, most times, and I think this project really needs to start there um, to get a feel for how the flow is going to be for the whole journal. Um, so yeah, it's not very big right now, but we're gonna we're gonna add stuff to it. Um, it's gonna get bigger. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is, oh, and let me show you some of the pages of the kit. Um, it's the, 
was it autumn whispers or whispers of autumn? Hold on one second. Um, thought it was this, but now that I look at it, whispers of autumn. That's it. Um, so this this I'm a this image here. Um, it's going to be part of the main cover to the journal pages portion. Um, and then we have a, let me make sure you're able to see everything good. Okay, yeah, there we go. Then we have, um, you know, background papers. Uh, you know, I'm going to be um, using this one. I mean, this. I just love the blues and the brown. Blue and brown always goes well together. You, if you if you choose blue and brown, you, you won't go wrong. Um, got some birdies there. Um, love this image. We're going to do something with that. Some of the background or collage paper. Um, these are, are meant to be uh, journaling cards or tags. Um, I'm probably going to use some of it um, as, as a collage. Um, some fun postcards um, that I want to incorporate. Um, some ephemera. Um, um, tags and pockets, or tabs and pockets. Um, we have a, a poem here. And um, these are tags, but I'm not sure I'll use those for tags, but they're tags nonetheless. Another collage paper. So pretty. And uh, again, I love this. Um, and I think the blue is going to just play off of this so well. I just love it. Um, so, Lorna, thank you for a wonderful kit. I love it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I don't know how many uh, sections this uh, project is going to take, but uh, I think it's going to be fun. All right, so I'm going to go away for one second, and I will be right back. Okay, back. Had to get my hair tie and, <laughs> and then go to the bathroom. So I just didn't want to keep you guys on hold while I did all that. <laughs> um, or lot, uh, recording while I did all that. Anyway, so I've pulled the, the what, what I consider the background collage papers that I want to use um, out, out of the stack. And then I also um, brought out the tag page because we're going to work on um, the very front today, obviously. Um, this already has a tag, and so we'll put something on there, and then we will collage the back of the bag here. But on the front, I want to um, make a tag um, that's going to go upright, it's going to go vertical, um, and, and, and glue it down to this, um, or the, yeah, the tag. It, it's going to be more for aesthetic than use, right? This one will be able to come out, but the one in the front, I want to be the focal uh, focal piece for that. So what I'm going to do is I typically, if I'm doing a, a, a tag that I'm going to use, um, that uh, for my tags, I like to use um, my um, cutoffs from file folders. So I think I'm going to do that um, here. It's got a little bit of dirt on it, so I want to make sure. No, that's not. I want to make sure I have the right size. Um, but if you don't have file folder cutoffs, you know, use cardstock. Use use whatever you have. Oh, there's a perfect piece to use. Is it? Is it going to be wide enough? Mm, no, because I'm going to cut that, actually. Uh, not the perfect piece. <laughs> I thought it was right here. Well, this one will definitely be good enough to uh, cut off. Okay. <laughs> thought I was ready. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, it's it's been quite the week, y'all. Um, a week and a half, rather. And I um, yeah, it's just uh, well, I'll tell y'all about it as I craft along. Um, so let me see. Let me. I'm going to take off this side here. Um, yeah, so I, I've had a rough 
couple week, uh, week and a half illness wise I had to have injections and um, it's just been it's been quite the, the ordeal um, you know, for those of you that know um, I'm multi autoimmune um, so I have uh, and, uh, uh, lots going on medically but um, yeah, I hate to dwell on that. I don't really talk about it too much, or I try not to anyway. Um, but this this past this past year and a half, I, it, well, no, uh, twenty twenty one has not been the best year for me. Let's just say that, right? Um, it's just I, I I had to have a back fusion surgery. Um, having problems with my, you know, autoimmune diseases. Um, so, yeah, 2021 hasn't been the best. Um, and overall, the last two years haven't been the best either. Um, it's just been one thing after another. So I'm just, I'm just tired, guys. I'm tired. And um, you know what? I'm going to use my pre, I have a, here we go. I have this card and I cut different size um, slants for, for tags. Do I want it to have that kind of topper? I'm trying to think. Because I want to, we're going to do some mixed media on this. Um, well, if we go along and I don't like, I don't like the standard uh, tag topper, we can change it. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, let's first make sure that we have the, that it's completely straight and it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna straighten it up. There we go. My blades are dull. I'm telling you. All right. Um. Yeah. So and then let's see how big we want it. Um. You know, I want a little bit of everything to show. So. Um, Okay, so let's do it, let's do it, I think here and here will be good. Because again, it's just for aesthetic purposes, so let's see how big that is from the top actually, or it doesn't really matter. Um, so if we go to six. Or six and a half. I'll start at six and a half. Let's start at six and a half, and then we'll go from there. Um, go ahead and get this uh, cut down right away. Put that for scraps. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead. Um, so yeah, if you have an old credit card or gift card or whatever, um, use that. Uh, to make different size slants and for your uh, tags. That's just a little uh, cheat. You just cut one side and you flip that side over and then you'll have the exact opposite which evens out the tag top um, and you don't have to guess. Okay, so there we go. And um, get rid of that. Put this over here for now. Um, all right, so uh, um, now I haven't gone through all my other papers and and uh, supplies and stuff to to uh, pick out some some additional coordinating stuff with the kit yet. I'm going to do that and then I'll show you what I choose. Um, but let's do some some just some general collage on here, and I think. What I'll pull out, um, yeah, let's, I like this. This is just a nice uh, black and white um, paper that I'm going to use. Oh, it's got florals and leaves. It's very fallish. <laughs> and it's got different flowers, so you can kind of choose. Um, and granted, I'm not going to cut it straight. I think I'll, I'll piecemeal it. So um, I do want to get this section here. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. 
and you know I'm not precisely measuring this right now I'm just kind of getting some stuff together um, okay. oh I also pulled out um, which will come in late uh, come in later is uh, a tea bag we're gonna put uh, we're gonna decorate a tea bag uh, in a fun way and put that in there as well I'll just keep that with that so let's um I'm just gonna go ahead and now the Tim's tissue and Prima's tissue the easiest way to get rough edges it doesn't like to tear it'll tear straight and you won't get that rough edge that you're looking for you know you won't be able to get that you know um, so what I do is my brush here I just water cut it um, I'm gonna show you Let's see I'm gonna, uh, so when you tear this um, Okay, now, and now it's going. But if I try to tear this here um, to kind of get this section, it's going to start going this way um, instead of the way I want it. You know, I just want to kind of get a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Um, it doesn't always tear as easily as one would think. So you just take some water and you just, just like you would with napkins or rice paper. Oops. And I don't care that it's torn. This is just background. This isn't for um, the main thing. We're just putting some background on here. And um, I will use this piece. This one seems to be tearing be uh, better than the other one I have. I have. Oh, I have some bird one of this. We'll have to, I'll have to pull that out too because there's birds in the kit. And uh, yeah. All right, um, then let's do um, here, the water cut here. See how I wanted to go straight there because I didn't have enough water. Okay. Just a little bit, yeah. I wonder if he changed, because this is a newer roll of uh, his papers that I have. I wonder if he changed, they changed the formula so it tears a little bit better than, um, yeah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's, um, where's my, oh, matte medium. Do I want to back the tag first? Um, no because this is not really a tag that you're going to use so I don't think I'm going to back it at this point. Uh, we can always back it later. Um, let me get a brush. Oh, my brushes are in the kitchen. Talk amongst yourself. I'll be right back. Okay, back. Um, I also brought uh, my white gesso because um, I want to do a little bit of pushback. So let me move this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use matte medium. And let me get out some, um, if you're working on a project and you, I, I can't have um, yucky water on my desk while I'm working because of my new feline in the house, um, which, which was an ordeal yesterday. Oh my gosh, I got this, this cat. <laughs> Wait until I tell you guys <laughs> what yesterday was like. Because yesterday he went and got the snip snip. Um, so... <laughs> This cat, I tell you. Um, but if, so my, my point is, is if you're, you're working with um, wet glues and you want to keep your brush from drying out and getting all yucky and stuff like that, because, you know, you got to take care of your brushes. Even though these are my glue brushes and gesso brushes, I still like to take care of them while, you know, so they last, right? Because once the a brush gets hard and yucky, you can revive it most times with uh, Mercury's salt, but not always. Um, but so after I use the glue, I'll just wrap it up in this plastic wrap and it'll be good to go at, at, at throughout the whole day. Um, in fact, a couple days. As long as it's wrapped, it won't dry out, right? And I don't have to have yucky water on my desk. Um, although my feline right now is in my room sleeping. Poor little guy. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so where was I? So, yeah, so, you know, I... I issues medically and 
you know, I had injections, and so I'm just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm tired, guys, and I was not feeling well, so that's why I didn't have any videos or uh, didn't do, I wasn't able to do a live stream, you know, dealing with migraines, and just, it was just, it's just been a, a bad, bad week uh, and a half. So, um, yeah, but the good news is, and, and this was the silver lining to my body going into, uh, you know, I'm fighting a war, basically. Those of us that have autoimmune diseases, we're fighting a war that we can't win. And I'm fighting multiple um, autoimmune uh, diseases, so I've been really sick. Um, yeah. So let's just put that on. Um, so, but yesterday, I had to take Mr. Putty Cat to the vet to... Um, get his, um, his personalities, <laughs> if you will, removed, um, <laughs> and, um, oh my gosh, my poor baby, so they, they don't, um, they don't cone the cats now, um, the way they, I, they do, uh, the sutures are inside, um, but he did have to have a little bit of a bandage on, uh, and this, you know, makes sense to me, um, just because, you know, when you have a cut, you know, you're going to bleed, right? So, um, he had that on. He looked so miserable. And so, my poor baby. They hurt my baby. Uh, <laughs> but, so, you know, the, the bandage just needed to be on just to, you know, capture any, any initial blood or oozing from, you know, the, the, the not from the stitches, you know, but from the cut itself, right? Because they got to cut him open. <laughs> um but he slept the whole ride home. Of course, I had to have my hand in the cage. Uh, he wasn't having none of that, you know, me leaving him alone. Um, he was all, he was, yeah, my poor baby. But anyway, so I'm going to dry this. I'm going to keep talking while I dry this really quick. Um, and so when you're collaging, regardless of the paper you're using, you want to put your wet glue down put your paper down or your, uh, you know, stuff, and then uh, do another thin layer of matte medium over it. Um, you got to sandwich your collage. It, it just, it makes sure that it stays put. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, so then I get him home and, the, you know, he can't have any food or water uh, yesterday, so... That, he kept getting up, he kept going up to where his food was, <laughs> looking for water, I think, more so than food, because he's lethargic from the, you know, the medication. They gotta, they do have to give him medication, obviously, to, so they can go ahead and do, oh, the surgery. I cut the tag a little bit on that. That's okay. Um, so, but then, <laughs> after, after that, he, this cat is going nuts trying to get, um, this bandage that's been taped onto his body off. It is hysterical. And he's chasing it like he would chase his tail. And round and round this poor little guy goes. <laughs> but he finally did it. He was not having it. They they put it on there and they told me to remove it today. Oh, but he, oh no. He, he had to have that off. It took him several hours. Because um, I brought him home at, um, brought him home at, I picked him up about a quarter to four, so we were home about 4.30, and he had that thing off by midnight. I mean, uh, or actually, no, maybe a little earlier, maybe it was maybe 10-ish or 11. Yeah, because I was talking to the ghost at the time. Um, I had just, you know, while he was messing around with it. So after a few hours, he was he was not having it. I want to just make sure that, that stays. Had a little lift up there in the corner, make sure. Okay. All right, now I'm going to put some gesso on this. Just a little bit. Oh, my goodness, my hands, my hands. Oh, they were so swollen. They're still swollen, but um, they're better than they were. I, I can't get this to work. Hold on one second. If you have a cap that won't come off, if you just heat it a little bit with your heat gun, um, it'll loosen the mat, the medium and loosen the lid so you can because otherwise I need man hands come on it's almost there I can feel it happening
Sorry for the noise, folks. Oh my goodness! What? Okay, there we go. Oh god. <sighs> okay. Alright. <sighs> what an ordeal for me to open up a jar of jello. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger. Um, I call this the Jesho Schmear. If you haven't watched any of my mixed media stuff, or, um, or I mean, if you have, then you know. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna just gonna kind of put a little bit on there. Not a lot, because um, this isn't a thick collage. But I just want to knock this back into the background a little bit. Um, so if you get wild and crazy with your paper or paint, um, gesso is a good way to resolve that um, and, and tone it down, push it back, um, whatever the case may be. And I'm just kind of random. I'm, I'm randomly smearing it um, to push it back. Um, no rhyme or reason. Um, yeah, just have fun. Do what, do what looks good to you. Um, okay, I think that's good to start. Oh, let me get a baby wipe. Oh, hold on. Mm. <laughs> okay, baby wipe. All right. So, but yeah. So the poor, the poor cat has been <laughs> through the ringer. He's been, he's been sleeping good all night though, and he's sleeping on my bed now. Um, poor little guy, my baby. They hurt my baby. Okay, now I'm gonna dry this really quick, just a little bit, just to give it a quick zap once over. Okay. Then I'm gonna pick a stencil, and I think, um, cause what do I want to put on? I think I want to do some sort of mandala, um, and then place like. Oh, I know. I think I know what I'm going to put on there. Yes, I know what I'm going to put on there. Uh, at least I think. Let's, we'll see how, how, how well it looks. Um, dry my hands. Let me get a stencil, and I'll be right back. Okay. I found the perfect stencil. Um, I'm going to... It's This is a stencil um, by uh, Badass Stencils. Um, you can get it on their site, or you can get it on iStencils.com. The uh, stencil number is BAD6066, um, and it's just called Vintage, so it's kind of like a lacy, a lacy um, stencil. And so, and I'm just going to kind of put a little bit here. I want to get this whole round bit there. It looks like a doily. Um, and then this little corner here. Um, yeah. Or do I want to just do everything that's on there? Maybe. Because I want to put, we're going to be putting some like fabric -y stuff on this. Um, maybe I'll just do this whole, let's, I'm just going to do this whole thing. Let me get a palette knife. If I don't like it, I, you can always scrape it off as long as you get it right away. Let me get my my glue brush wrapped. One, so the cat don't step in it, and two, to keep it from hardening up on me. Alright, so, and I'm just going to use gesso for this. Um, ooh. Oh, no, maybe, maybe, what, you know what, I'm going to use something different. Something with a little more dimension, actually. Um, Which one? These are two of my favorite pastes that I have. Um, this one's Paper Texture Paste um, by Finnebear, uh, The Art Extravagance by Primo. And this is Core Watercolor, um, which is Golden's um, Light Dimensional Ground. So, I love these both. Um, paper Texture. You know what? I'm going to do the Paper Texture, I think. 
yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Okay. Ooh. That's not, that's from the lid. <laughs> Paper from the lid. Okay. And I'm just going to go down here. I'm going to make sure I get the whole doily part. Um, and it's not dead center. Um, it's a little bit offset, which is fine. You want, um, if, if, if you offset things, they look a little more natural uh, or more pleasing to the eye. I just love working with this paste. Ugh, so yummy. It makes great texture. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm picking up a little little bit of color from this stencil, which is fine. Okay. All right, so let me wipe this up. Actually, I should have put it back in the jar, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. Ah! Okay, over there. All right, so... Oh, okay. Don't know you, so I'm not talking to you. All right. Waste not, want not. Okay. And um, I'm going to wash off my palette knife. Again, I have to t change my <laughs> art, uh, the way I do things, because of the kitty cat in my life now. Uh-oh. Did I just break that? Oh, oh yeah, I did. Well, that's fine. It's not not broken, broken. It'll still work just fine. You just want to get the paste off your stencil, so either have a tub of water or use a white bead, but you definitely want to get um, the paste off the stencil. Ugh, yeah, I tore it right there. <laughs> That's okay. It's fine. It'll still work. It was a little bit too rough. All right. Okay, put the stencil over there. Yeah, I'm, de I'm definitely uh, going for the blue-brown on this, not your traditional um, fall, uh, you know, pumpkins and orange and all of that. Um, I'm not traditional in any sense of the word, so why should one of my fall journals be traditional? Uh, I am working on the other one. I've been working on it, actually. It's uh, for my design team project for Natalie at Line.Arrow. It's, it's really pretty. I'm just loving it. It's not done yet. I, I had to take a break from it. I, need, I got fired up. I wanted to start this project, um, and I needed a break from because it, it's a bigger journal, you know. It's one of my normal size journals, so I had to take a break from it and come back. All right, so let me dry this. I don't have a yucky surface. All right, so um, what I'm going to do to, to okay, so let's. I'm going to go away and I'm going to dry this because it's going to take a hot minute, um, and then I'll come back and then we'll do um, some more fun stuff. Okay. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh oh, wait, Mr. Mr. Kitty is uh, doing a slow drive by. Today. Hi, baby. You want to say hi? Let's move you over here. Oh, yes. Poor baby. Oh, mama's baby. Yeah. Yeah. They hurt you. Yeah. Yeah. Good boy. Are you going to say hi? Oh, yeah. Say hello. Yeah. Yep. This is what I get to contend with every day. He's such a sweetheart, and he's really a good boy. And now that he's been um, fixed, lost his personalities, oh, he's de he's definitely more snuggling and stuff right now. What are you doing? Mama got to work. 
<laughs> I'll be right back, guys. Okay, he's not wanting to lay on the side. He wants me to snuggle him, and I've got work to do. So, uh, I'll have to catch up with him in a little bit after this video. <laughs> My poor baby. Um, okay, so what we've done is we've collaged on the tag. We've added some um, paste. Now, this paste, it's, um, it's a little on the rough side, uh, feeling-wise, because it's paper texture paste. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, I'm just going to take a sander and just lightly, you know, do a little bit of uh, sanding. And this is probably like chalk, nails on chalkboard for you guys, and I'm sorry, but I want to show this to you. Um, so let's see. And I just want to kind of get rid of any of the higher um, bumps, um, kind of, you know, flatten and soften it out a little bit. I'm not taking it off, I'm just kind of skimming the top. And if you do that, the texture will soften up a bit. So if you have really hard texture paste, because some texture paste, you know, not all products are equal, right? So, much better, much better. Maybe a little up here. I'm a very textile uh, person, so um, I like to be able to feel things. Um, yeah. So, okay. I think it's good enough. It's softer now. Okay. So that'll help soften that up. Let me wipe off all my crummy dues. All right. Um... Okay, and then um, what I pulled out is I pulled out a few things. Um, and, but if you don't have what I have, use what you do have. You just need something that um, for color. And I'm choosing to work with Magicals. Um, this uh, Mountain Meadows set is awesome. It has a very beautiful blue in it um, called Stormy Sky. It's my absolute favorite uh, so far of the ones I have. I don't have all of them. Um, but I've also pulled out Blue Hawaiian, which is a little bit lighter of blue, and uh, Dark Truffle, Dark Chocolate Truffle Brown. Uh, so I'm going to use those three colors to help colorize the tag. Um, then on top of that, um, we're going to put um, maybe a few bits of doily. I was thinking um, well, one of these, this one's going to get colorized. This one already had a little bit of tea dye on it. Um, and this is just a prefab one. But I want to put a little bit of that. And that shimmer, that will go away when we hear that down with the matte medium. That'll dull down that uh, bright shimmer in those polka dots that's on there. And then I thought something like this. Um, so it's kind of hanging off the tab tag a little bit. Um, and maybe a little bit of this one underneath, maybe? Something like that. Um, yeah, like I said, this will have a little bit of color on it. Um, and then in the middle, um, my uh, friend, uh, Giggs is what I call her, but her name is Joycey. Um, she, she is a moderator uh, for my channel. Um, but she made me these little crochet... Uh, flower shapes, if you will, and I've been hoarding it, and I think this is the perfect project for it, because again, I want this project to be rustic. Hi, Putty Tat. Um, so I was thinking about putting that at the flower piece in the middle, um, and then from there, after we get it colored, I won't know, but I've, we've got two options. I could either put a button in the middle, and then I brought out, maybe put a little bit of Nouveau Drops um, within the center of the button, or, um, you know, and I would sew this on, or um, also I brought out um, a little, like, uh, it's kind of blue tint to it, but it's a, a flat back um, pearl type piece, but it's kind of got that, um, like, uh, purple, green, blue coloring to it. I don't know if you guys are... Do I have autofocus on? I do. Okay. Um, come on. 
focus. Uh, you guys can kind of see it a little bit. Um, so if this doesn't work after I put the colors on, then we, you know, I have the button option. So I just don't know which one I'm going to go with. So pull out, you know, some doilies. Um, if you have maybe a paper flowers or a die cutter, you can make your own flowers. Um, uh, you could put uh, any kind of dimensional flower type piece. Um, depending on the aesthetic that you're working with, um, or if you're following along with me, um, you know, get use what you have. This project, um, you know, I want you to use what you have. You don't have to necessarily go out and buy anything. Um, you can, of course. Uh, I, I encourage uh, uh, buying yourself some fun stuff every once in a while, but this is not um, necessary for to complete this project. And I'm just trying to think. I wish this doily was smaller. Um, you know what? Joan's die cuts might have a smaller piece for me. Let's see. Instead of that big doily in the middle, because I want to see some of the um, uh, some of that knitted pattern in the background, a little bit behind the scenes, you know. So let me find. This, oh yeah, this is right. Um, maybe I think she sent me. I have some round paper doilies, and I I want to use uh, uh, start using my die cuts a little more anyway, because I've been neglecting them, and they're absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. Um, especially all the ones I got from, from Joni and Teresa. Um, this is your ASMR moment, guys. If, if the, the, the sanding didn't give you uh, an ASMR, <laughs> ruffling through uh, plastic and, and paper might. <laughs> uh, it all depends on what kind of person you are. Oh, maybe these. Okay, there's, there's, oh yes, I think that's what we're going to do. Um, oops. I really need to get those in a bag. Because they're so intricate. Okay, let me, let me try getting these in a bag. Sorry, guys. Oh, here's, here's the other one. So those are kind of big, but... Um, it's an option. Cause, and then my, the, the die cut ones might hold the paper, uh, the y yarn piece. Because the yarn piece is, is, it's yarn, so it's a little thicker um, than, than fabric. Um, oh, that's another thing you could use is fabric flowers. That's what I meant to mention as well. You know, just use what you have, guys. Um, okay, I'm going to have to get these in there later. I can't get and I'm not going to waste any more time. Oh, geez. Now I've got it. Okay, there we go. I had it really. Let me just turn this over so I remember to do that. Let me just make sure really quick. I don't have any other time. Are we at four, 48 minutes? Okay. Um, okay. Do I leave other round doilies in here? No. Uh, oh, I have some black. Oh, that would have been perfect. I think I have, let me check those. I think I have some white ones. I don't want to put black on here. Um, yeah, okay. So let me put this over there for a second. Okay. Um, these I think are going to be too big, but let's see. See what's in there. Intermix if there's any smaller ones. Too big, too big. Mm -hmm. Too big. Okay, so that's a no. But this one might work. Really, Shauna? Can you not get? How do you not get this open? Oh, it's already open. Jeez, 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 jeez. Okay, let's see. It's a little too small. We need, we need like Goldilocks just right. Ooh, maybe that's it. Uh, that might be it. If this gets colored with some blue and this is on there, this needs to come up a little bit. This needs to come over a little bit. Maybe, maybe I'll splash some dots on that. 
because it'll have color. So we'll see how much it's going to pop out. But that's that's the perfect size. So I think I'm going to go with that one because um, I don't have any of the these aren't big enough. So that's what I would have really rather preferred. No, I don't want the oval. I want the round. Round because then this is it going to show up? Ooh, we we'll lose a lot. Eek. Oh, I thought I had some more doilies. Oh, goodness grief. I'm trying to keep my... Oh, there it is. Oh, no. Yeah. There it is. That's... How did I miss that the first time? Yep, that's it. Okay. So, uh, let's get this... Let's have a little play with this, shall we? Put this um, in the bag. Put it back in the bag. You have a cat now, Shauna. I have to keep reminding myself. Um, okay, so... First things first, let's, uh, I'm going to keep this so we can splash some color on that. Put these over here so they don't get color on them. And with Magicals, you just use water to um, uh, solu make them soluble uh, or into paints. So, oh, where's my spray bottle? Which has very little water in it, of course. Um, okay, so let's just do a little bit of let, no, let's start with the lighter color first um, and see see what happens. Put that over there so I don't spill it. Nice pretty blue. A little bit lighter. Okay. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna give this a spray. And I'm gonna give this a spray. Okay. And I'm going to take this, oh, let's make sure this is nice and nice and juicy. I'm just going to kind of let it run down the tag a little bit. I love working with Magicals. Oh, MG. They're one of my favorite products. Next two watercolors and inks, they're, they're my next favorite. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Okay. So that's good. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to just pick up a little bit of this. Let's give that a little bit of a splatter, shall we? Okay, and then the next color I'm going to introduce, and I'm not going to dry this, I'm just going to keep going a little bit. Okay, and put a little bit of that out. Oh, see how rich and dark that color is? I definitely put out too much paint. <laughs> With Magicals, they go a long, long way, like seriously a long way. These little pots of, of pigment powder last uh, quite a while. Um, Let me get some more water in there. Okay, and let's give this a little sprinkle. And just to give this a little bit of contrast, um, not really, you know, worrying too much. Okay, I'm liking that so far. Let's see, before I mop this up with another piece of paper, let's see. Um, I'm really just touching my wet brush with the paint to the tag. Okay. All right. And get a little bit of water there. I'm definitely a drips girl and not so much a splatter girl. So... Um, okay, so there, I, I like it to kind of do its own thing, uh, let, uh, mix on the paper, if you will. All right, I don't, um, oh yes, let's put a little bit of blue on here. I know this is kind of going towards the wintry side of things, but you'll see, it's going gonna, it's gonna to change. Every time you do something, it's going to change. Okay, and let's, I want that, I like that color more, so we'll do a little bit more of that one. I like that dark, rich blue. 
Okay. I think that's good. Um, okay, now to um, bring in the brown. Put very little out. Um, the reason why I ended up getting so much blue out is because, uh, well, it's in the pot. It's not in the shaker. So I have to transfer it. I have vials, I think. Um, so, but... Uh, I haven't transferred yet. I'm pretty sure I still have enough vials for a while. So, just got to do it. Just not enough time. Um, okay. So, now I'm kind of, I am splattering it, but it's going to, you see, it's going to wick out. Um, and it's going to intermix with the blue. Okay. Love that. Okay. Love that. And probably... Yeah, we will, I'm not worried about the back. We're going to back it. Um, um, two reasons. One, I've gotten it messy, which I, you know, no big deal. Um, I could leave it like that. Um, but also, it's it's kind of thin right now, right? So uh, it's got to it's got to hold up, okay? And so, yeah, we will. Uh, Well, we could use a little green on this, but I'm not going for green, really, in this journal. Um, yeah. All right. So I'm going to go away. I'm going to come back, and we'll put it all together. i got to dry these. Um, so if you're following along, um, you know, get your heat gun out. Um, dry your, dry your uh, tag, and uh, let's move on. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Everything is, the text mostly dry. I, I dried the paper. Oh, and look what I did to bring some natural aging without any paint or products. Um, is I kind of held, held my um, heat gun close to the paper um, without totally scorching it. But it, it, as you can see, it kind of uh, burnt the paper in, in some places. Like you can see it here, you know, up in there, a little bit in there. And a little bit all the way around. That's just to naturally age the paper. Um, I like doing that. Um, you, if you hold your heat gun next to your gesso, it'll also make the gesso or a mediums uh, bubble, so you can get some nice uh, texture that way. Um, okay. Oh, I don't need this in front of me. Let's. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, we're going to get this put together. Um, and then that way you guys can enjoy the rest of your day. Um, yeah. Okay, so put glue down. Think about mm, yeah, think about this much. Okay, I don't want a lot, just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna again. You want to sandwich your collages. See, that'll just dull down that go. Okay, I don't know who that is, so they'll have to leave me a message. <laughs> I hate getting calls from people I don't know. Um, okay, so just, okay. And this one is going to go in the middle, but I do want a little bit of this um, over here. Um, I didn't give this one any color. It's very lightly tea dyed, but I'm only going to use a little bit of it. So um, it, it's it's fine. Um, okay. Okay. Now the the middle. Yeah, I'm going to put that, maybe, I did 
Oh yeah, maybe maybe we'll do. It's a little big though. That's an old thing. Is but check out the. That's fine. I'm just gonna go with it. I just I like it. Um, you lose some of that uh, metal um, metal texture, but uh, that's fine. Okay. And I didn't put. Oh, darn! I didn't put any color on this. Um. What color would look good with the kit? Maybe, maybe a, a little bit of a, uh, darn it. You know what? No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it. You know what? Maybe, oh, let's do this. Just really quick, really quick detour. Add some more water. Yeah, just kind of get it all grungy in there a little bit. Yeah, because it's just it was just too white for me. Let's see how this is going to look. Hmm. Let's um see what see what happens when I wet it. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Okay, I'm gonna quickly dry this while we're we're on camera. going to go in there. Okay. Um, I need a, I need my, I'm going to go ahead and use um, some tacky glue I have for this. No more, no more wet glue. Come on. This is just uh, Eileen's clear gel tacky glue. I'm kind of out of my preferred Glue, so I'm just going to put it all on there. And it doesn't have to be totally center. Uh, let's see. No. Maybe up there. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Just give that a second to press that down. Okay. Now, yep. Um, hmm. I definitely need uh, a little bit of, uh, I have a little bit left. I need to fill this bottom too. This is my um, Fabri-Tac. This is crochet, so I want to, um, I want to uh, use some Fabri-Tac on it. I'm sure the Eileen's may have worked, um, but I, I'm the, the product's okay. It's, it's just not my favorite, and I want to make sure... Oh, come on. Ah! We're <laughs> oh, goodness. Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. A little bit of that. Put that in there so that stays in. Let's put this. I want it to be on there, but not... Um, I don't want to make it, like... Hard. I want to make the yarn or fabric hard. Okay, that should be enough. Just like that. Give that a little bit of a, a press. Pull that. Turn this bottle sideways in case I need it in a second, because we're going to put the we're going to put the center in there. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking that so far. Okay, now do we like the button? I like the button. I love buttons. Uh, or do we want, let me bring you guys down closer so you can um, see what I'm, what I'm putting down, what I'm working with here. All right, so we have that one. Now imagine this is gone, right? So I like that. And then, oops, now the button. Love the button. I gotta go with the wow, oh, but I want to get. I want to use per, these pearls too at times. Well, well, wait, 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 wait. Does that look good? 
Ooh, I could do that instead of the um, Nouveau Drops. And I'll be happy. It cradles the pearl. I've done that before in flowers. I really actually kind of like that. I'm going to go with that. That's what we're going with, peeps. That's what we're going with. Oops, not this one. Let's uh, put this down. Put the button down. I'm not going to sew it because we're covering up uh, the middle, so it doesn't matter. But you definitely could, depending on what you're working with. Okay, hold that down. Okay, want to make sure that you have it um, firmly pressed in there. Make sure I have enough glue. You know what? I, I, I can't trust it. I gotta put glue in there. Wow, because the yarn is thick, right? So the bottom of the button. Um, may not necessarily touch the paper so we want it on there securely okay push that down okay now I'm going to take uh, I'm just gonna go with this one because this is my Fabri-Tac or three in one like I like this okay and push that in there and push down. Oops. Don't want to scuff up the. Okay. That's so cute. Okay. Let me cover my my glue and my brush covered. Shame on me. I'm telling you guys to do it and I ain't doing. It. Okay. Okay. So that's still good. All right. Put this on here now. Scissors. Then you guys will get, I'll uh, show you what this is going to look like, sort of, get a feel for what it's going to look like, I should say. This, uh, I'm going to let this totally cure. Um, let me make sure I'm not over. All right, so that's what we're looking like. I, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so there you are. Now, where is the, oh, here's the journal pack. Let's take this off. Imagine, where's our, where's my, where's my pillow? It's probably in this pile. Ah! Half the ranch. Where did I put? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I found it. Okay, so this is going to go on there. It's going to be part of the closure. This is going to get glued to. Oh, good, good, good grief! I'm off camera. Here, let's let's bring that in. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yep. Yep. And so that'll get it here to that. So then it'll it'll be like one piece when it, this opens, and then you'll still be able to slide this tag in and out. And then we're going to decorate the bags next. Um, so, yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed this. Um, uh, and if you're following along, let me know. Um, even if you're not doing the same thing I'm doing, but you're following along the process, I'd love to see your makes. You can post them on, on, on Facebook and, or, and, and tag me on Instagram. Um, yeah. So, there you are, peeps. I will see you guys. Um, next time. Have a great day. Be creative, safe, happy, and healthy. Talk to you guys later. Bye.